through logical examination completed by two master staff of creature cultivation from Hanover University, a main college in Germany. To be specific, Professor Dr. Schultz and Associates Dr. Hazim. Both of them drove an organized exploration group to respond to the inquiry. Which is better and less excruciating? Butchering unadulterated Islamic Sharia without the way toward dazzling or butchering the Western way with shocking? The two of them planned an exceptionally complex examination. Utilizing a gathering of cows that were very old grown-ups. On the outside of the cow's cerebellum, terminals, CPUs are joined. Called an electroencephalograph EEG. EEG microprocessors are appended to the outside of the mind that touch the problem areas. Boards on the outside of the cerebrum. To record and record the level of torment when the cow is butchered. In the hearts of the cows, an electrocardiograph ECG is likewise introduced to record the movement of the heart when blood comes out due to being butchered. To smother botches the cows are permitted to adjust to the eat an ECG that have been appended to their bodies for a little while. After the variation time frame is considered adequate, half of the cows are butchered by the unadulterated Islamic Sharia and the excess half are butchered utilizing the Western Embraced Staggering Techniques. In Islamic Sharia, the butcher is done utilizing a sharp blade. By cutting three directs in the front of the neck, in particular, the food channel, the aviation route, and two veins, specifically, the carotid corridor and the jugular vein. It ought to likewise be noticed that Islamic law doesn't suggest staggering strategies or procedures. Then again, the Western method instructs or even necessitates that animals be paralyzed prior to butchering. During the investigation, Egan ECG on all dairy cattle were recorded to record and decide the condition of the mind and heart from prior to dazzling or butcher until the cows were in reality dead. Indeed, the after effects of this exploration have been excitedly anticipated. From the after effects of exploration led and revealed by Professor Schultz and Dr. Hazim at Hanover University, Germany can be gotten by the accompanying Butcher according to Islamic Sharia the consequences of the investigation by applying the act of butchering as per Islamic law show. First, in the initial three seconds after dairy cattle are butchered and the three channels on the facade of the cow's neck are removed, no progressions were recorded on the egg outline. This implies that in the initial three seconds after the butcher, there is no sign of agony. Second, throughout the following three seconds, the egg in the cerebellum records a slow decrease in the diagram that intently takes after a profound restication until the cows totally pass out. Around then, it was likewise noted by the ECG that the heart started to expand its movement. Third, after that initial six seconds, the ECG of the heart records the phenomenal action of the heart to draw however much blood as could be expected from every one of the appendages and siphon it out. It is an impression of the coordination development between the heart and spinal ropes at the point when the blood comes out through the three cut channels at the neck. The EEG chart doesn't go up yet rather drops down to zero levels zero. This is deciphered by the two master analysts that no sensation of agony by any means. No torment by any stretch of the imagination. Fourth, since the blood is pulled in and siphoned by the heart to the most extreme out of the body, it produces sound meat which is reasonable for human utilization.
The sort of meat from this sort of butcher is as per the standards of good manufacturing practices GMP, which produce healthy food. Western Way Slaughter First, immediately after the process of shocking, stunning, the cow staggered and collapsed collapsed. After that the cow does not move anymore, so it is easy to control. Therefore, cows can also be slaughtered easily without struggling, and, apparently, without experiencing pain. At the time of slaughter, the blood that comes out is only a little, not as much as when slaughtered without staggering, stunning. Second, immediately after the stunning process, a very noticeable increase was noted on the egg chart. This indicates the pressure and pain suffered by the cattle due to being hit on the head, causing them to faint. Third, egg graphs increase very sharply with the combination of ECG charts dropping to the lowermost limit. This indicates an increase in the excruciating pain, so the heart stops beating earlier. As a result, the heart loses its ability to draw blood from all organs of the body and is no longer able to pump it out of the body. Fourth, because the blood is not attracted and is not pumped out of the body to its full potential. The blood clots in the veins and flesh resulting in unfortunate meat, which is thus unfit for human consumption. It is stated in the treasures of meat science and technology that frozen blood piles, which do not come out when livestock die or slaughtered, are a very good place or medium for the growth of putrefactive bacteria, which are the main agents for destroying the quality of the meat. Not an expression of pain. Thrashing and flexing the muscles while the cattle are being slaughtered is not an expression of pain. Very much different from what we thought before. It may even be our common belief that any blood that comes out of a wounded limb must be accompanied by aches and pains. Moreover what was injured was the neck with a wide open wound. Professor Research Results Schultz and Dr. Hazim proved otherwise. Namely, that the sharp knife that slices the neck, as Islamic law in slaughtering livestock, does not touch the nerves of pain. The two expert researchers therefore concluded that the cow thrashing and flexing the muscles was not an expression of pain, but an expression of only muscle and nervous shock, i.e. when the blood was flowing profusely. Good job! Why is that? This is certainly not too difficult to explain. As the egg chart neither proves nor shows the presence of the pain. Thus it can be concluded that scientifically, it turns out that slaughtering according to Islamic law is more animalistic. Moreover, coupled with the recommendation to sharpen knives to reduce the pain of slaughtered animals, Verily Allah determines Isan goodness in everything. So if you kill you should do Isan in killing, and if you slaughter, then you should do Isan in slaughtering. Namely, let one of you sharpen his knife to lighten the animal he is slaughtering. Hadith narrated by Muslim.